This bridge is an incredible gift to the American people. This allows us to have access here in a way that we have not been able to up to this point. Visitors coming to Shenandoah National Park now have safe passage to their trailhead and they will reap the benefits of having the improved habitat within the park. Hi, I'm Jennifer Flynn and I'm the superintendent for Shenandoah National Park. White Oak Canyon is one of the most popular boundary access points for Shenandoah National Park. For years, there's been a low water bridge here. And during periods of high water, this has cut the public off from being able to park in this parking lot. What we've come to appreciate over time is that low water bridges are really detrimental to fish habitat. So projects like this reopen those waterways for the fish. So Piedmont Environmental Council and Trout Unlimited have done all the legwork to make sure that this happens. They not only identified the problem and brought us a solution, but they fundraised for it. They worked with the contractor to execute the work properly and made sure that we were environmentally sensitive while we were doing it. So my name is Seth Kaufman. I'm the project manager for Trout Unlimited's Shenandoah Headwaters Home Rivers Initiative here in Virginia. Brook trout face a lot of threats uh, to their survival, but the more habitat they have available to them to move into uh, when, when, they, when their habitat is degraded, the more they have available, the more likely they are to be resilient um, and persist uh, into the future. The Shenandoah Headwaters Home Rivers Initiative has started in 2009, and so it's been 10 years now, and we've done uh, you know, dozens and dozens of projects. So this project on Cedar Run, the goals of it were twofold. One was to improve uh, aquatic organism passage, particularly for brook trout, so they could access three miles of habitat upstream in Cedar Run. Uh, the other goal was to improve access for uh, hikers and trail users here to the Shenandoah National Park. We work with the landowners, um, Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, the Park Service, Department of Game and Land Fisheries, and Piedmont Environmental Council uh, to put together a plan um, to put together the funding to remove that existing culvert and install the bridge. My name is Celia Vucolo. I'm the Wildlife Habitat and Stewardship Specialist for the Piedmont Environmental Council. So BC's Trout Stream Restoration Initiative fits into some broader strategic goals that we've been pursuing over the years, which include um, improving water quality for the Chesapeake Bay, uh, promoting land conservation and land stewardship. In 2013, PEC completed a survey of public and private road crossings in and around Shenandoah National Park. We surveyed over 130 road stream crossings in a four county region and found that about 20% of them were causing issues for aquatic organism passage. By removing specific crossings and replacing them with fish friendly designs, we could open up a lot more stream habitat and allow some of these imperiled species to have access to new habitat. So historically speaking, brook trout were very common in Virginia and all along the eastern seaboard. But about 150 years ago, with uh, the increase in land use changes due to farming and development, their numbers have decreased over time. This restoration work is important to the folks living in the community right outside of Shenandoah National Park. A lot of that's because most of these neighbors and friends grew up with brook trout in and around the streams that they knew and loved and nowadays they don't see that species as much anymore. The concept behind these projects is pretty simple. By removing these barriers we are helping brook trout and other aquatic species to not only thrive, we are also giving them the chance to move back into streams where they once historically lived.